Hey everybody, welcome to Workforce Gaming. I am Brad, here with Doug. Hey. Hidden, in the middle of the Game Awards, mm -hmm. was a weird, random, almost felt like commercial for, for Spoken, and yes. a demo got released, so... It did. We, of course, both jumped on that. Mm -hmm. um, so for Spoken is coming out in January. It's by the team that did Final Fantasy XV. Mm-hmm it's it's i feel like everybody kind of knows about this game just because it's had so many weird things over the years that there's so yeah. much weird backstory and history with this game already um especially for being a new ip all like all new everything i feel like everybody's kind of, everybody's kind of had their takes on for spoken so i think it was kind of mm -hmm. nice to have this thing actually playable for um, yes everyone. that's a good that's a very good point because i feel like there's just like by watching the footage like you're like you're kind of forming your opinion of the footage it's like how does this actually feel to play and now we know bum, bum, bum. yeah um so again kind of the backstory of this is it's girl gets transported into different world has weird band on her arm now uses crazy magic runs all over the place is kind of the gist um mm -hmm. the one thing that i liked about this and i and square in particular has been doing a lot of the like play the first level and your transfers in and this mm -hmm. just said like here's a cutscene. we'll recap get you up to speed here you are in the open world go explore run around here's five things to do and done mm -hmm. um and i thought that was just for this game in particular, I thought it was nice just to kind of put you into that combat area and go, okay, yeah. the thing people have kind of like been worried about is like, what does this thing actually play like? What's the combat like? What's running around feel like? And I think kind of putting us in there right away was a good call. And I, I like it. I was kind of in, I was kind of yeah. into it. It, it it's feels so fucking weird. <laughs> yes. It's and so here's my, th here's my thing is I feel like it's a game that I need four hours sure. to understand if it's good or not. Yeah. <laughs> I feel, feel like a lot, I... Of, a lot of feelings of Final Fantasy 15 actually is what I'm yes. playing. It's like exactly yeah. what you're and, saying. It's like, is this and, good and or bad? Like, I don't know. Am, do, am I having a good understanding of combat or is combat just bad? Was kind yeah. of where I was yes. at. Where it's like, yeah, I can't yeah. tell if this is bad or if I'm just not doing it right. Mm -hmm. And as it progressed... Um, I think I played for maybe, I think you can probably get through the demo in about a half hour-ish. I think I played mm -hmm. right around there. Um, by the end of that half hour, I was leaning more towards the, okay, like, give give me another hour with this, and I feel like I'll have a handle on it, because there are a lot of systems working in this, and I did not expect yeah. that from the trailers. I expected something more in line with 15, where it's just kind of, you got your couple of magic buttons and your attack button, and we're good. There's a lot of menu switching, spells all over the place, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Um, yeah. I think to the game's benefit and to its detriment. Yeah, I, th I think that I think the tutorial does a really really poor. So what I did is I had played a I played the half hour I played the half hour demo, thought it sucked. I didn't like <laughs> it for I didn't okay I thought it sucked, but I thought it sucked. But it's such a weird interesting game and like mechanically there's like okay I must be missing something. I'm gonna go back and replay re not replay the demo, but like they kind of like let you go in the open world. You yeah. just don't you just like just don't complete the final thing. So like okay, I'm gonna do some of these side objective things. See if I can get a better handle on the combat. And it's it is. It's a really, really interesting game that has some really, really obvious faults like um, that are easy to complain about. And I think we actually should complain about some of them because they're, they're like interestingly yes. weird yes. because it seems like some of these things have been fixed like many years ago. So first impression is um, I don't care about character banter. I don't I'm not like negative against it when the character talks I'm like that's fine. We need to fill the air with something. The, the main character talks to her armband and the dialogue they have is just the worst Marvel. I don't, what do you, okay. The, the, oh, that happened dialogue. And it's yeah. just, they never shut up with like the worst. It's not even about the, what's happening. It's just like, ah, that sucked. Right. Yep. It's like, wh why do we, we didn't have to say that. We didn't have to say that. It's <laughs> like, this isn't like New York city. It's like, yep. Nope. You didn't. Okay, cool. I mean, that's not an See, interesting line or anything. <laughs> I, I agree that it didn't think it was very interesting. And I think that's where a couple of the trailers got dinged for in the past. It's like, yeah. um, oh, I forgot about that, actually. Interesting. And and I think, like, that's definitely there. I didn't feel like it was that over like overbearing like you're talking about. Oh. I kind of, I caught it once or twice. Like, oh, yeah, okay, that's that's weird. But I think, I don't know. Also, in my mind, I just tune out so much of that banter at this point anyway. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Did you say something? Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm just playing the did, game. Leave me alone. Did you have your controller speaker on or no? Yes, I did. And it doubled. Is it, yes, I wasn't it, sure if I was supposed to do that or not, but it was it was TV speaker and it was controller speaker at the same time. Because that's that's actually how I noticed it. Is I, yeah. I kept trying to listen to what the controller was saying. And then I realized, like, oh, oh, it's doubling for some reason. 
it's it's the bangle guy talking through the controller which is like kind of an interesting idea but it's just like I, I don't i think it was just i think it was literally the writing because i was like you can have that banter i just wish it related to what was happening or the environment or the world or something but it yeah. was like literally just like boy those guys were easy weren't they yeah. it, it felt like we have a list of 50 generic yeah. insert here and it's just random yeah. number generator popping one in popping one in popping one in popping yeah. one in every however many seconds um yeah i think my biggest fault with it and again this is where I, I do like the idea that they put us in the open, but I kind of wish it would have given you a little bit of a longer tutorial. Mm-hmm. I could not find a way to switch between everything in an effective manner at all. So yes. you have multiple three weapon wheels because you have an R1 that's your three mm-hmm. attacks on your um, for R2. You have an L1 that's your support spells and some other stuff. And then you have an L1 and R1 at the same time, which differentiates between melee and range style. Yeah, so you you you're swapping between full weapon wheel sets, which was really crazy. Like because so you really have yeah. five weapon wheels <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that are not easy to swap through. Yes, um, and that was the thing I kept getting stuck on because I thought I was supposed to be kind of swapping between all five. And then the thing I had, I had realized is like, well, and I'll, I'll kind of explain a little bit later. I guess I'm curious how you feel at the combat. There was sort of a system I came up with in my head of like, okay, when I do in a battle, I'm going to do this and kind of stick with this wheel. And that actually worked really, really well. Yes. That's not how they explain how to do the combat. <laughs> no. I had, I had to find my way to make it work for me. And I don't know if that was intentional or not. But yeah, how did you feel about the combat? Because it's crazy. I, I think I, I kind of ended up doing the same thing. As it was, I would almost have, by the end of it go in going, okay. I'm going to focus on melee attacks mm-hmm. with these support spells. And that was yeah. kind of where it was. And I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to switch over to the range weapon. I'm not even going to do that because mm-hmm. that's just going to, exactly. it's going to mess me up. I did find that um, the last thing it's like, a, I think they call it an extra objective is you get to fight a boss is mm-hmm. just because I was just trying to mess around with it a little bit. I, it almost feels like what they want you to do is like pick your spots where it's like, okay, I did my melee attacks, I got some range away from it, now's the time to switch to range, do some range attacks for a minute, and then as oh, it closes sure. in, I almost feel like that's what they're going for, and again, this is coming from 25 or 30 minutes, so I don't know, but it feels like it's trying to be more tactical, where yes. in this situation, when the enemy is at this point, I need to be in melee, and I know that I'm going to be in melee for the next 30 seconds to a minute, Okay, mm-hmm. now we've got a little bit of a different positioning. There's more enemies. The enemies are bunched up. Okay, now is when I can take that. Because it doesn't pause when you yeah. pull up weapon wheels. It gives you that slowdown, but it definitely doesn't pause enough for you to go like, okay, yeah. let's think about this. So I kind of felt like you had to pick your spots. And that's what it was going for as yeah. a tactical thing. I don't know if that's just me trying to make up <laughs> for like poor switching between all these things. Sure. But yeah. that was kind of what, at the end of it, I felt like they were trying to go for. Yeah, so the, so that, that actually yes, that actually that makes a lot of sense. the The way that I had the way that I had sort of figured out the combat in my head, and again, like it's fun that we're talking about how do we how are you supposed to play this game. Um, so um, what you can do before part of the battles is you have this like sort of just basic attack that's an R two R two yep. attack. You can modify the secondary on that R two attack to either be kind of like a slightly ranged attack, like a really heavy focused attack, or kind of like a yep. wider sweeping attack. Yep. So when I would that go took me a while to figure out too. Yeah. Oh, yes. I didn't figure that out until about halfway like, through, like, because I was just like, like, how come every time I change it, my R two is still doing the same thing? Like, is it not? Yes. Is it like, am I not selecting it? Am I not? And then it was like, oh, okay, it's the secondary the that's changing, R2. not my. Yeah, that took me about halfway it, through to realize that. I that took me that took me on the second playthrough to realize. Um, so that, that's why that's why I was like I'm missing something. So yeah, so you modif- so basically what you're doing you're tapping your R2. That's the same no matter what you're doing, but you can modify what happens when you hold R2. Yeah. So if I come up to like a group of a lot of enemies, okay, the first thing I do before I even attack is like okay, I'm gonna set my R2 to a more wide range one. Yep. So then I can then it's like okay, and I know this group is weak to fire, so I'm gonna make sure I'm on my fire spell deck of sorts. Yep. And then I'm gonna get in their fight. And the cool, the thing, the other thing I didn't realize with the support spells until I played it again is that with the support spells, you can get like eight support spells at a time if you if you level up kind of in the game because you can actually level up quite a bit in it, which is interesting. So you're kind of cycling through your support spells as you're waiting for them to kind of like uh, 
what's the I'm gonna say refresh. I know that's not the right word, but it was like really. But there was a, I was getting into the sort of rhythm of like okay R two R two do my cool hold one that I know works for this type of enemy. Okay, I'm gonna pull up this awesome support ability, and while that support ability is cooling down, I might shoot off two or three other support abilities as well. And I was like, oh, this is this is interesting. I'm kind of yeah. like okay, this is actually kind of cool. Um, and there's there's this button. I think they literally call it the parkour button. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, magic parkour. Magic parkour. Magic, pa- magic You're parkour. You're talking about circle, button. right? Circle? circle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's magic yeah. parkour. <laughs> there, there is. So this is it's kind of funny with like Final Fantasy 15. Like you can complain all day about Final Fantasy 15, but every every once in a while there's a very cool thing. When you press circle to run, it feels real good. Oh it, yeah, like, it does. there's just there there's like this initial kickoff that she does and does like this really sweet rumble and it's like yeah I'm running. <laughs> The, the dual sense and... does some work in this. The dual sense yeah. does some work. Yeah. As soon as you try jumping, it gets all wonky for some reason. Oh, yes. But... Yes, yes, yes. Or climbing a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Two very basic things you should be able to do in a video game. I mean, could... well, to be fair, yeah. to be fair, it does have that, like, uh, Breath of the Wild where, like, you kind of feel like I should be able to climb any cliff. Yeah. So then you you have that Breath of the Wild, I feel like I can climb any cliff with that like Elder Scrolls wonky climbing a cliff mechanic. Mm-hmm. And it kind of feels yeah. like this weird merger of the two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I was I was very I was always debating of whether or not I was actually climbing cliffs correctly because you get this yeah, like, I don't step think I up was. thing that kind of like it's like this weird step up that has like a weird cooldown that doesn't make any sense. The, it just, It feels so messy. The combat is so weird. The setting is like really strange because it's big open barren but it's so you it's i'm gonna say near which is not correct because Ooh. it's not nearly as co- it's not nearly as cool as near but no, just like but it is... very much has that like big open kind of and... desolate kind of alive little parts mm-hmm. here yeah it definitely but has just... a little bit of that near tinge to it yeah in a very just weird game. world like there's something world, world yes yes and there's just something off about this game i don't know it just it's it's like they haven't played any and I, I know this sounds bad but it's it's cool it's its own little microcosm like they basically just built off final fantasy 15 didn't look at any other games like how can we make a better final fantasy 15 <laughs> and i was like well maybe we should look at some other games um it yeah. it actually we were talking the other day about how much how one of the things that was nice about ps1 and uh snes mm-hmm. games yes. is that so many of them felt like they just tried to do their own thing because mm-hmm. the standards hadn't been set yet yes and because yes. there wasn't a whole mountain of generic we have to do's that they were trying mm-hmm. to just fit in here it almost feels like that in the uniqueness yes. of it where it's just like we're just gonna try this like no mm-hmm. this isn't how you do this like you, you yeah. don't have five weapon wheels. You don't need to like cycle through them all the time. But we're gonna try it and we're gonna see what happens. And nobody it has that weird tinge of a game that is unique mm-hmm. and just isn't done like this. It just it, it feels to like to your point, it feels like something that was a game made by somebody who's watched a lot of games but hasn't played a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I know that these things need to be there. I know that we need spells. I know that we need range combat. I know that we need melee combat. I don't really know how to work them all together, so let's try this and see if it works. Yeah. It like even just like attacking with the R2 button is really weird. So yeah. like in in soul games you attack with the R1 button because the R1 button feels good. The R2 button's kind of this like mashy sort of thing that you don't want to hit all the time, but that's like your normal attack button is R2 is insane. Um and with the dual sense like I I felt like my finger was sore after half hour. I turned that off immediately. <laughs> yes, they have like they have the tr- on your main attack, they have the pressure of the dual sense controller. I turned that off cranked. immediately. That thing is it's, cranked. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. It actually it actually hurts your fingers after a while. And mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. This game's like so weird. And then all of a sudden it's like so we're talking about like, oh, it's this weird, unique thing. And then it has just the most boring objectives where like you fight a bunch of guys and the treasure chest opens. But and uh, that and felt like, demo-y to me. That felt demo-y to me. Because it was literally I don't know. go to the maybe, fast travel maybe. point. That's fair. That's fair. Go to the fast travel point and see a house find an upgrade beat a wave of enemies i'm missing one and finish up and kill a boss it felt very yeah. much like these are kind of our five main things we're gonna do here i want you to experience fast travel i want you to experience combat i want you to experience yeah. upgrade it, it that felt demo to me so i don't know if that's a fair shake on the game or not because yeah. that okay, felt like yeah. we want you to see everything but there were like little side objectives that, in addition to that like once i started running around the open world there's actually some mm-hmm. side objectives oh, okay. and it was literally like there was even one where it's like, uh, you kind of—it was like a challenge stage, like kill this boss within ten minutes, or it's like a ridiculous amount of yeah. time. But it like actually did like a count of three, two, one, go, go kill this <laughs> boss, and it was like it was. So it's like, 
it's it's again it's like a thing where you're like not sure if this game is like way ahead of the curve or way behind or just like way off left field or something thing. like that. I think it's just it, its own thing, and I think that's. It, but then, but then there's stuff like the menu system. I mean, you can't read the menus because it has this dumb fisheye lens over the menus that makes them really hard just to read. Oh yeah, that yeah. They, I don't <laughs> think they were hard to read. It was just, to me, it wasn't hard to read. It was just awkward to look at. Like it was like I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't follow the path on like the magic skill tree. I was like, okay, well, hold on a second. Like, <laughs> which, is that bending because the like the weird fisheye lens is bent, or is it bending because that's the way it's? Okay, no, okay, I can't go. It's just, it's so weird. It's so weird, and I. Yeah. It, it it makes me very interested by yes, how I know, weird it is. I know, like, I know. We play too many I, games. This, this is like Death Grip stuff or something. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like playing it. It's like I I don't see like this game is not going to get like a ninety five on Metacritic. It's oh, not no, happening. This game's going to get eviscerated but, for sure. <laughs> but but I'm I'm more interested in it because of how weird it is. That it's yeah. just like I I would say I played this and thought eh, that's not okay. There's there's some issues here. But I'm more mm. interested now than yes, i was yesterday before i played it because really of funny. how weird it is and because of how yeah. just different it is so i don't know i'm very very interested in this i i can't see myself buying it the second it comes out but i can no. very much see myself the second this thing hits like 20 30 bucks be like oh <laughs> hell yeah let's go yeah you, you know what it, you actually know what really reminds me of um just in that sort of realm is mirror's edge um, yeah when you play mirrors i I personally, I love Mirror's Edge. I did not enjoy my entire first playthrough through that game because it's such a weird paradigm shift of how you are yep. supposed to play games. Um, and that's the thing. It's like, and Mirror's Edge is a brilliant game. And you're sitting here staring at this thing going, it's like, okay, they're doing something so different. Is it brilliant? Because every once in a while, I'll see them do something really stupid. But I can't, it is insane how complicated the skill tree looks and how all of you have these different status effects and stuff. Like, why is any of this here? It like, none of this makes sense. And maybe it's just like demo stuff. I'm not understanding it, but it's just, it's just interesting that like every little thing they do cool and unique, you just see this huge step back. Like, here's a very obvious thing that they should have fixed. So what, what's going why, on? Why, why didn't, why didn't we fix that? Why didn't we fix it? And I why mean, this thing's gotten delayed yeah. left and right. So it's like, it's not like we, it's not like for the sake of time that these things are like, it's been delayed numerous times. So yeah, I don't know, but again, I just there's something about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There is like, I don't know. So one of us will have to buy it eventually, and then we could say how much we that, either loved or hate it. <laughs> yeah, look for our review. It comes out in January, so look for our review next summer, 2024. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but we are Workforce Gaming. You can follow us on Twitter at Workforce Gaming. Subscribe to us wherever wherever you're listening, and we will see you later. Bye.